Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the User of Bricks channel. Today we are doing slabs. Now, slabs in mCreator are, don't work exactly like vanilla slabs. Uh, you have to get around that and from my experience and from what uh, people who have used uh, my mod, The Traveler's Adventure, they have liked how I have implemented the uh, slab. Now, there are different ways that you can implement slabs, but I am here to show you the basics. So, first off, you will need two block models. You can make them using a block bench, uh, and they will be the lower slab and the upper slab. Those are the only two models you'll be needing to create a slab block. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's get to creating. First off, you'll want to have your textures. I will be using the same textures as as last uh, as the last video for the minor you can you can have different ones it doesn't really matter now you'll want to go into the three models and texture mappings import adjacent model you'll want to find your uh, your models and you'll want to open them. Okay, for the slab, I want that. Oh, and by the way, the map for, if you have more than one uh, uh, slab, just add another uh, texture mapping, name it, and put the textures in as needed. If these uh, models will be up on my website, link will be in the description. Okay, so once you have both your top slab and your bottom slab, once you have both of them, slab down and slab up, uh, go to Mod Elements, and you will want to create two blocks. Yes, two blocks. One for the upper slab and one for the lower slab. And you want to click the correct, uh, correct one. Rotation. Don't click that as it sometimes makes your slabs act really weird and not end up being slabs. Okay, uh, is it solid or not? You can change this. You can pretty much just change whatever you want, but for the upper slab, you want to change the max Y chord to 0.5. And if you're doing the lower slab, the minimum Y chord will be 0.5. Oh, and don't forget to uh, choose a avatar image, you could say, and click next, name it, and Edit the stuff you want to edit. This it can really be anything to your preference. Uh, yeah, so just go all the way to the end. You have your upper slab. You want to create another block for your lower slab.
And again, no rotation for the lower slab. You want it to be the minimum Y chord at 0.5. And name it, this one doesn't really matter as I tend to have, well actually the upper slab doesn't really matter what you name it. The lower slab is what I tend to use for the item you uh, have in your hand. Okay, so once you have everything to your liking, you go all the way through, go back to the your upper slab, and click doesn't drop itself and is not silk touchable. And for the, the item that it drops, go to custom elements, and you want to click lower slab, and have the drop amount be one. Next, you'll want to go to the procedure page and on block right click, click the plus and the create the procedure and go to block procedures and place to find your uh, your uh, lower block if you're in your upper block procedure click that, click add procedure and now when you right click your upper slab, it will turn into a lower slab. Now we need to go through and do that same thing for the lower slab. Again, it's block procedures, place, find your upper block, have that, add the procedure, click next all the way through. And there you are, you have your slab. Now, if your slab does not like, look correct to your liking, I would suggest using Blockbench for, as I, as I said before, uh, for your models. Let me load it up real quick. Okay, so for this, you will want to, well, if your uh, model doesn't look quite right when it's in your hand, open up the, uh, the model itself you will want to re-import uh, your uh, lower slab model. You want to go to display and click uh, apply preset everywhere and click default block. Okay, so once you have that, you will want to go to file, save. And now you don't need Blockbench anymore. And you will go back to your resources, import JSON model, slab down, open, texture, save your mappings, and you're good to go. And you have a nice looking uh, slab. Okay, and that is your slab done. Now, if you want to attach this to an item, you'll want to create, go ahead and create an item. You'll probably want to name it wrench and have a bit more proper of a texture than I will have but create temp texture and let's have it be, hmm, what should we have it as? Let's have it as an arrow. Now let's change this color to a dark red. 
Oh my word, you can rotate. That's really weird. Anyway, enough of that. You want to click use item, item, the inputs, uh, name of the texture will be wrench. Okay, once you have your texture, you will want to click exit, click item texture, click your wrench, and click next, image UI, wrench, click your, choose your uh, creative tab, max stack size, put this at one, don't bother about any of the rest, and you will, from here, you will want to create a when right clicked on block uh, procedure. Click that, create procedure. From here, you will want, from this item, you can attach as many, uh, as many slabs or any other block as you want. And you will want to put a repeat, get a math block, put a one in it, because you want to only want to do this once. And you want to go to then loops, if, get from logic operations, the block comparator, go to block procedures and get block at, then go to Minecraft components, the block, find your lower slab, and choose that, go to block procedures, place, this is very similar to before, but there are some differences, go to custom elements, lower, or upper I mean, and then go back to logic and loops, and get break out of loop. And you can copy this down and switch the two blocks. And there you have it. That will do the exact same thing. And with this one, you can add all of your slabs, all of your any other things that you want to use the wrench for. Uh, and they won't uh, glitch out and it will only do it once instead of doing it twice, making it appear that nothing has happened. Then click Add Procedure, Next, and you're done with the uh, wrench way. And if you don't want to use your, your other things, go ahead and go into your upper slab and lower slab go to the procedures page, do no procedure, and then you can just delete your uh, two procedures for those blocks on the right click. I will, however, leave those in there as they as when this is up on my site, you will be able to go through and find out all you need about this and where to where to uh, where to put things. Anyway, this has been the user of bricks. Thanks for watching. Please like if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful. And consider subscribing to know when the next videos come out. The next videos will be either a custom chest, doors, stairs, fences, or trap doors. So stay tuned for that.